Hi, in this video we're going to show you a quick way to enroll your Windows 10 computer in the ESU or Extended Security Update program with Microsoft so that way you will continue to receive security updates until October 2026. So as you probably know Windows 10 support is ending October 2025 so that's coming up any day now. So if you want to get that extra year of support uh, then you're going to have to enroll your computer otherwise you're not going to get any security patches. So many people are having problems getting this to show up, you know, even if they're fully up to date or they're trying to manually install updates and it's just not showing up for them. So we're going to show you a quick way to kind of cheat the system and get it to show up. All right, so I have this Windows 10 computer and it's up to date with all the latest patches, but it doesn't say anything about the ESU support up here. It doesn't say it's enrolled or anything. So we did do another video on how to check to see if it's enrolled by running a specific command. So I will put a link in the description for that so you can kind of check the status of your computer to see if there's any issues. But for now, let me just close this out here. We're going to be using a free tool called Flyobi. So we just did a video on this uh, showing you how to upgrade Windows 10 to Windows 11 on unsupported hardware and it works quite well. So if you're looking to do that instead, I'll put a link in the description for that video as well. All right, so what you need to do is just download the Flyobi app. So there's nothing to install. It's just an executable here. We're going to right click it and run it as administrator. All right, then you're going to have your main screen here. So this will allow you to do the upgrade to a Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. You could even make your own custom ISO file for a clean installation. And then it has a bunch of tweaking and debloating features, which we demonstrated in the other video as well. All right, so to enable ESU, we're going to just click on this download or upgrade to Windows 11. All right, then there's this button here that says more options, enroll in ESU. So we do that, and down here at the bottom we have enroll in ESU, keep Windows 10 secure until 2026. Click on that. And then you'll probably get this message saying the ESU enrollment scripts are missing and they will be downloaded from GitHub. So that's fine. So we'll click on yes. All right. So you could probably just stick with this first option here online. Then you have this option here that says proceed force running enrollment even if already enrolled. But I'm not sure why you would have to do it again if you're already enrolled. So I've never tried it with this option. It worked fine just by using the default here. So that's what we're going to use. So we'll click on OK. So we'll launch the consumer ESU enrollment tool. Say yes. So we'll open a command prompt here. All right, it says success. Press enter to exit. All right, so let's minimize this, get it out of the way. Let's go back to the settings, update security, Windows update. Now it says your PC is enrolled to get extended security updates. And then once you have this here, uh, you should be good to go. So that's the key to tell you. And then you could also run that command that you'll find in the other video to kind of confirm that your computer is enrolled. All right, so I will put a link in the description where you can download Flyobi. And then you could try it out. And then, like I said, watch that other video to do a test to see if it actually worked. And then you could also check out the other video to check out the other features of Flyobi. All right. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe.